Columbus Metropolitan Library is ready for kindergarten skill builders. Today's focus skill is all about fine motor development. Fine motor skills are an important kindergarten readiness skill for our little ones because it's developing the muscles in our hands so that we are more able to hold a pencil, scissors, a glue stick, crayons, all those really important things that we do in kindergarten. So we've talked about fine motor in a few other videos. You may recall we talked about lacing the cereal in our patterns video, and we talked about one-to-one -one correspondence where we moved cereal to different squares. All of that is fine motor, but today I'm gonna dig in a little deeper and give you some examples of how to further develop this at home and then a little bit of the why. So I borrowed some really cute things from the library today to show you some opportunities to do fine motor development at home. The first is this cute little snap board, but you don't need this. Your kiddos clothes have snaps, and I know how tempting it can be to just hurry up and get them dressed and get out the door, but if you can give yourself that extra five to 10 minutes in your morning routine to let them practice either snapping, buttoning, lacing, or my personal favorite, zipping up their clothes, all of these activities develop the muscles in our hands or this pincer grip. So it gives them the chance to do this. You do not need these boards. Your kiddos clothes have these features. So just give yourself that time in the morning to slow down and say, you know what, buddy? Why don't you button your shirt? Why don't you zip up your pants or shoes? So that's one of my favorite fine motor easy things to do during the day. You can also do it at mealtimes. So your kiddo might like cereal for breakfast. You guys might recognize my pink cereal. It's made a few appearances. Let your kiddo pour this out on the table. Let them one by one put the cereal in their milk. You could do this with blueberries. You could do this with blackberries. You could do this with black beans, cherries, any small fruit, any small food chance to use this pincer grip to move. I also have the example of pasta is a fun opportunity. Now, why is this important? The most important reason is because it develops the muscles in your little one's hand so they can hold a pencil and start getting that control to form words in writing. You'll, if you start observing your kiddos, when they first start practicing writing, they're moving their whole arm, their shoulder, their elbow. This is a gross motor movement. This is a gross motor activity. But as they start being more intentional in their writing, they're gonna get smaller and smaller movements. In order to do that, they have to have these important muscles in their hands developed. You'll notice these muscles in your hands cramp when you write a lot, so you know they're there. We need to give our little ones that chance to form those muscles, strengthen them, so that when they're ready to write something like their important special first letter, they have the support in their hand to do that. So it's really about scaffolding this development, starting in that gross motor that's throwing balls that's all the fun stuff and then moving into this more fine motor skill of moving small things with their hands again we've talked about this a lot but i wanted to take a minute to go in a little deeper because it is such a foundational ready for kindergarten skill and it leads into next week's video which is going to be all about writing so thank you for joining me today i hope you have fun practicing your fine motor skills with your little ones and hopefully i'll see you next week have a good one